recognized. Uh, this next question, I think, is for the panel. So you can get Carlos, Carlos, and Mike involved. Uh, so, uh, in terms of um, what you are recommending to clients when you get an opportunity to, to sit down in front of an advertiser, a publisher, a uh, VC, B2B, um, what are some of the, the key mistakes that you are noticing when they make a, an effort to, uh, to do any type of advertising uh, within the Latino space or in general uh, that you would recommend? Uh, for example, one that I see a lot, it has to do with segmenting and not really understanding the segments well. Um, and I, I know you each bring very different perspectives. Carlos is a media company. Uh, uh, Carlos uh, Asano here in terms of what's going on in the industry uh, within New York. Uh, Mike is uh, just having his global perch uh, and seeing as much as we do. You got it all wrong first time around. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some of the, the, the myths uh, that you would dispel in terms of getting started as it relates to this segment? <laughs> well, let me talk from a, uh, a uh, government perspective, industry perspective, since that's my role as the director of the commission. Uh, um, there's been a lot of uh, misunderstanding of the, even the communities in New York in the past, even in city agencies. I mean, uh, I was in the subway last night, uh, yesterday, excuse me, and I was reading a, a sign and the translation was awful. I swear, I, I said, who actually handled this translation? Now, we're dealing with uh, a, perhaps an agency or something. And also, we have to understand the dynamics that, again, New York, as I mentioned before, has a very diverse, if not, if it is right now the most diverse, let's see if the census reconfirms that, Latin community. So there, I know there are some gray areas where you can push the message to communicate with all Latin audiences, but we do have to acknowledge that if, for example, you're going to advertise in New York and Washington Heights, well, you better get used uh, to the language that is kind of spoken to some degree in Washington Heights because it's highly more effective. I find that local papers, I'm not sure if this is working, but can you hear me? Um, I find that local media is also very effective and they are also driving um, the online message as well. Local newspapers is another way of reaching to uh, very highly targeted audiences, whether it's in Washington Heights, the Lower East Side, or in Queens, in uh, Jackson Heights, Elmhurst. And of course we have Latin communities here spread out all over the place. The Bronx being perhaps uh, the borough that has the most Hispanics, we know the populations there tend to be more Puerto Rican, Dominican. So, once again, keeping those elements in mind is quite important. And I think some of ad agencies uh, sometimes are missing that point. As I mentioned, just the example of the ad that I saw. Also, very quickly, just to point from the uh, government perspective again, uh, New York is in the process of, and I mention this because this is going to have an effect in the future. Um, they're in the process of setting a new school, a new, new university that's going to uh, be strictly focused in the sciences, engineering, and again the sciences. Uh, where the new Google, so the world will be uh, coming into the picture. That's going to be key because Places like Silicon Valley, that's where the startups are, that's where they are attracted. They have the institutions, the research that we mentioned before. And I think Google pioneering this type of research is key uh, to the whole mix. Because four years ago, I remember, I was doing a research on a, a presidential election on Hispanics, Amer African Americans, and women. And I had to actually go with African Americans and women because I couldn't find enough research to do uh, social media on presidential elections, which I presented as a thesis. And, um, thank you. Can you hear me now? So uh, this research was uh, uh, lacking in, uh, to a great degree, and I know there's a lot out there from the Pew Institute and others that you can rely on, but when a major company, and this is not giving Google a push, but I think what Mark is doing is really position, helping position uh, the Hispanic market, not only here in New York, but in the U.S. and, and the world as well, 
because this research, all the companies are going to have to, this is now uh, what I call a race to the top. Who's going to provide the best the quality research that we can rely on? And once again, ad agencies are going to pay careful attention to this. Uh, we all know the trend is to digital. And finally, to conclude, the mayor just appointed a new chief digital officer for the first time um, in, in the city of New York. In fact, I met with her. We spoke about not only what's going on in the city, she's going to be presenting a report about how they're going to drive the message on mobile, digital, everything. And I just completed a survey and I uh, actually uh, explained from the Latin perspective for what I do, what I needed. And obviously everything that is being discussed here is exactly what's going on. And so from the government perspective, they're driving that and I know that's going to have an effect of, uh, as well in the advertising and so on and so forth. But I, I just wanted to highlight those points. Great, great insight.